Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com. Here we go, we got it. The HTC Inspire 4G on AT&T. 4G, AT&T, it's gonna take a little while to get used to saying that. So we actually have a retail box here, which is slightly unusual for review units, but there you go. Uh, open it up, first thing we got is Quick Start Guide, and for the first time in my uh, smartphone life, I think I actually used this, and I'll show you why in a second. Under that, we have the phone. Tip them out here. Uh, quick walkthrough in the hardware. It's very much the uh, Desire HD in Europe. We've seen that before. Uh, we'll start on the back because that's where we are. Seven mega or eight megapixel camera, excuse me, with dual flash. Very nice. That should be the minimum these days, I think. Got a little speaker earpiece up there. Uh, volume rocker on the left. On the bottom, you've got micro USB and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. There's a microphone there, that looks like another one there. Dual mics, that is good, noise cancellation. On the front, we have a 4.3 inch touchscreen. I think we're already turned on, so there you go. All capacitive buttons down here in the button, on the uh, bottom, nothing physical to push. Some people like that, some people don't, okay. Really big speaker grill up here and you get notification lights on the left. On the right, it's not a camera, sorry. And that's kind of it. You got a power button up top. So pretty simple HTC design. We've all seen this countless times before. Now the reason I needed the quick start guide is so we got a little uh, interesting design going on here. Not the first time we've seen HTC do this, but it's a little hard to get at. So you've got this little bottom piece that slides off and you'll notice these contacts. So it's going to need to be together to work. So inside here you have a SIM card and you have micro, US, or micro SD. Just pops out, spring loaded. I like that. That is my favorite kind. None of those weird mechanisms HTC has uh, been prone to fit into its smartphones lately to get the cards out. Getting the battery out, I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to do it here. It's a little tough. So you've got a tiny little slit here, and you have to pry this piece off. And to be honest, I had to use a screwdriver to do it the first time because it's on there. There we go. It's on there really, really good. And so you pry that off, again you have contacts, so this is gonna have to be attached to work. And to get the battery out, you just shake it loose. Slide it back in. And force this back on here as best you can. It's tough, so um, you're not gonna wanna swap batteries any more than you have to. Let's get this guy to boot back up. And while we're waiting on that, let's look through the rest of the box. Again, I hate unboxings, they're lame. I think we all know what's in the box. Uh, how to connect a Wi-Fi, AT&T Wi-Fi, cool. I'll log into sense.com. I actually just did that. Now the phone's not officially out yet, um, but Sense doesn't actually show the phone, so you know, I'm sure they'll update that at some point. Uh, the typical HTC charger, I like that. Micro USB cable, safety, blah, blah, blah. Again, why unboxings are lame. So let's talk about the phone for a second. This is one of the first phones that HTC, or that uh, AT&T is calling a 4G phone. That's its HSPA Plus network. Um, we're gonna have to do some tests and see, cause actually I get really good AT&T 3G here where I live. So, uh, and now 4G I imagine. So uh, we're gonna play around with that some uh, in the coming days and uh, see what kind of data speeds we get. See the uh, boot up time is actually not bad at all. Definitely not slow. Now this is Android 2.2 and it's running the new Sense, right? We first saw this on the European phones. Uh, we got tastes of it here, uh, but now it's officially on this phone. Setup is exactly the same. Uh, Sense, for all intents and purposes, we've seen it before. Even this new version, it's pretty much the same too. So you've got your standard home screens. Hi there, congratulations on setting up your phone in the same widgets. Same settings, look there's Dieter and my parents, how nice. They're all my favorites. Why is the boss above my parents, I don't know, go figure. Same giant HTC clock, right? We all know that and love it. There's a YouTube widget down there. This is all stock, I haven't, yeah, I've had this phone for 10 minutes now, so. We're seeing this for the first time. Um, new in Sense, in this new version of Sense, you have the little art thingy down here for personalizing the phone. And really, all that does is kind of bring a lot of the settings into one place that we had before. So you can have different scenes, you can change your wallpaper there, skin, add a widget, add an app, add a shortcut, add a folder, add a sound set, add a ringtone, add a notification sound, change the alarm. So it's nice, I like how they've done that. They've really uh, combined a lot of the settings that I think a lot of people use day after day. Um, 
I'd like to tell you what apps uh, come with this by default. I don't think it's much, but here's the thing. When you log into Sense and you uh, log into the phone for the very first time, it's going to copy over apps that you've already downloaded from other phones, which is good if you're switching phones. Uh, it's bad if you are a smartphone reviewer and trying to look at the Virgin device. Um, uh, Asphalt 5, I think, is on there. AT&T Family Roadmap, Code Scanner, obviously AT&T, AT&T Nav, that's Telenav. Blockbuster app, Block Collars. Um, the flashlight app is on there by default. That's good, I like to see that. FM radio, sweet. You gotta have a headset plugged in. Obviously, that's not new. Um, HTC Hub, HTC Likes, Live TV, Google Maps, of course, my AT&T. And no, not ROM manager. <laughs> Let's see, it's copying it over. Transfer data. Um, and, and actually, when you first boot up the phone for the very first time, it asks if you want to transfer data from another phone. So it's actually really helpful in uh, getting you going, getting you started up. Let's dive into the settings real quick and see what we have. About phone software information. Again, Android 2.2.1. I would fully expect this to be upgraded to Gingerbread at some point. Um, I will even say by, what month is this, February? I'll say by May, how about that? Throw it out there, I have no knowledge, uh, but we'll see. Uh, let's see what else we got. How about SD and phone storage? Total space, 7.4 gigabytes, nice. They gave you a lot of space on this phone. A gig for programs, um, Oh, let's see, eight, yeah, I, nice, that's the SD card, obviously. But a nice size card came with it, that's good. Uh, gigabyte on the phone itself. That is all right as well. You've got the cool little power saver feature. So you can set up power profiles and whatnot. I like that. And for the most part, it's kind of standard sense. It's the new sense, and I like the new sense. It's better than the old sense, it's new. It's one more. Uh, so that's kind of it. That is a quick first look at the Inspire 4G on AT&T, and we'll be back with more later. See ya.